So we're back here on the campus of Hong Kong Polytechnic University. It's Friday morning. Uh, the crews here stopped overnight, and now they've started again. They tell me so far they've removed about 3,800 petrol bombs, Molotov cocktails, glass bottles filled with gasoline or camp fuel uh, with a rag or a fuse. The goal today continues to be to make this area safe and to get as much of this out of here as possible. They're also collecting evidence. Police tell me they've been taking some fingerprints from some of the Molotov cocktails they've collected. So the authorities here at Hong Kong Polytechnic University hope to have this campus reopen on Friday, but they've got a lot of work to do. Here's what some of these crews are finding. This is a bridge that connects the main part of campus to some satellite buildings and the neighborhood. And you can see that they've built this barricade here to try to prevent police from coming in. They actually burn the surface of this bridge here, trying to uh, create any obstacle possible for police. So these obstacles are now in the way of firefighters and police officers who have two priorities. One is to clear out all of this toxic material, and second is to collect any evidence of crimes. They have a lot of work to do, but they've already managed to remove about 3,800 of these petrol bombs for around campus and more than 500 of the larger bottles of various chemicals.